number you have dialed has been changed. The new number is... Welcome to Studio Time with Zach. My name is Zachary Rudder, and on the easel today, we have a fun lesson on replicating paintings. So you'll see next to me, I have this piece titled Exploding Heart. It was done a while back for a TikTok video that I called 10 Minute Paintings with Zach. So this painting was finished in less than 10 minutes, which I have done a studio time with Zach similar to this, but it was just solid color. So go back and check that one out as well and check out the TikTok. So what's fun and interesting about this piece you see is there's no comic books in the background, which is very unique to the work that I like to make. As you know, my typical lessons involve the comic grid system of transferring images onto larger surfaces, but these are meant to be exercises, 10 minute paintings, just to kind of keep me working. Uh, I take inspiration from the comic books that I usually use in the background. So you'll see the explosion on the front cover actually resembles the explosion of the painting. So as I was comic booking a different painting, that explosion popped out and inspired me to do this 10 minute painting. Yeah, take inspiration from anywhere. Today we're not going to be doing that. Today we're going to be learning how to replicate images. That's right, as a professional artist, it's very important for you to be able to replicate your images, especially if you want to make a living selling your art. It's oftentimes that when I have multiples of something that somebody likes, they're more inclined to take more than one, you know, gift them off to other friends and family members, or they just like them both together that they want to hang them in their home. So replication is very important, not only to better yourself as an artist, but to better yourself as a salesman as an artist. So let's get some closer stuff now. One very important thing to keep in mind when you're working on the replication of a painting is the process that you put into the original painting. So a way that I'm able to document that is through these time-lapse videos. What I'm able to do is take screenshots from the videos and then reference them as I'm working along on the details of the painting. You can see an example was just up on the screen a moment ago, but uh, I have several different screenshots from throughout the entire process of the original image that I'm calling back to over and over again as I'm replicating it. It allows me to have some sort of guideline or instruction manual for the replication, and it's very crucial when you want to get things right. about replicating artwork is a philosophy that I absolutely live by. Work smarter, not harder. So if you have things that you know you're going to be doing over and over and over again, such as a sun heart, my way of doing it is similar to when you spray paint a stencil. What I've gone ahead and do is upload the original image to any type of Word document, any type of way that you can adjust the size of the image so that when you print it, it prints to whatever size you need it to be. And then I print it out, and then I cut out the red area of it so that I can hand paint it on to wherever it needs to be, and it comes out identical each time. I do the red, and then I freehand the black and white outlines. So it's one way that I've found that's simple enough and easy enough to do over and over again. And if you guys try it, definitely comment, send some photos. I'd love to see some of the ways that you've utilized this process for some of your own work. I will mention though, when you run the brush over the stencil, it will bleed underneath just a bit. That's okay because remember you will be outlining the heart once the red is fully dry. As you can see, we have a perfect red outline of where the sun heart will be in relation to the center of the explosion. Next steps, just freehand in the black and the white and throw in a signature on there. Let's finish this one up strong. One very important thing to remember when painting is to always clean your water and clean your brushes. Right now is that fun part in the day when I have to do that, so let's do it together. Ah. And there you have it. Clean brushes, fresh water, and a cat. Now it's that time again, my favorite part of any painting, the outlining. This is the part of the process when you know everything's starting to look good and come together and you can just feel the finish line slowly approaching. You just gotta love Mac Miller. Let's just let this music vibe out for a sec. All that's left, the signature. Let's get it done. Let it 
You might notice that my signature is just my initials on this painting. I only do a full signature on any painting that features the comic book background, so all other works are signed with just my initials. And there you have it, two identical exploding hearts in the books. If you guys enjoyed yourself, if you had fun, if you learned a thing or two, please like, subscribe, and share, and definitely be on the lookout for next Saturday's episode of Studio Time with Zach.